we are going to take the time today to make this absolutely super cute, super blingy <laughs> bling shirt, courtesy of Thread Nanny for sending us these absolutely gorgeous stones. So stay tuned with me and we are going to brush these beautiful stones into a rhinestone template to make this shirt. <laughs> It's no secret around here that I absolutely love bling. I bling my shirts, I bling dresses, I bling my suitcase, I even blinged my power bank for my cell phone. Bling is everything around here. I absolutely love it. Uh, however, bling is not that difficult to do. And I do have a video out there that shows you how to go and find bling designs that you like, just like this design here, and how to edit it on your computer so that you can cut it out with your Cricut or with your Silhouette or any other cutting machine that you may own. And the link to that will be either up here or down in the description below. But I wanted to also make another video to show how to brush the bling into templates i do have another video out there but this one is going to be a little bit quicker uh, so as to go ahead and get you started on how to bling templates now this video was sponsored in part by thread nanny who is found online on amazon they were super nice and sent us some stones i opened the package but i haven't opened the stones yet because i wanted to show you the quality of their stones so that you can see them for yourself and these can be purchased on amazon so if you are an amazon prime member then this would be a good deal for you you can order it and have your stone sent to you within your prime at least two day delivery so let's go ahead and get these puppies open see how gorgeous they are and bling us a template and make us a new shirt So what I received were three packets of crystals. Um, this one is SS10 Jet Black. And then we have our SS10 Light Siam, which is basically red. That's the rhinestone color for red. And then we have our crystal, um, which down here they have diamond. And this is the SS10 uh, hot fix crystal stone. So it has to say hot fix for our shirts because we're going to press this on with the heat press. Okay, so let me grab my scissors. Okay. So these again are the crystal colored stones. So we'll go ahead and open them and take a look at our stones. As you see, they are loose in the packaging and you automatically already can see the shine on these stones. Now, to show you um, hot fix, okay, so the hot fix stones have a gray side on the back, okay? Now, that gray side is the glue, and as you see, there's a little bit of texture to it, just a little bit, and that just helps it uh, glue onto the surface, especially if there's an irregular pattern to uh, the surface of the shirt. But once you press this onto the shirt, then uh, the glue adheres. And then when it's cool, you have your rhinestone pattern. Now the hot fix doesn't take a whole lot of heat. I usually do my hot fix um, designs on 350 for about 12 seconds, if that. So it doesn't take a lot of heat, 
but I will say you possibly could adhere these with an iron. Would I suggest doing it with an iron? I wouldn't suggest that, but you can. Um, and the reason why I say I wouldn't suggest it is because you don't know for sure the temperature of the iron. So if you can get a digital thermometer and check the temperature of the iron, then you possibly could do that. Um, here is our light cyan, which is red. So we'll take a look at that as well. Those crystals were absolutely gorgeous. I'm excited to see the red and the black. Red is usually one of my favorites. Ooh, wow, look at that. Look at the bling on this red. So you definitely want to invest in some containers, possibly from Michaels, and uh, keep your stones stored. Okay, so here's our red. And as you see, the back of the red, the texture is a little bit different. See, it's a lot smoother. There's a slight texture to the glue on the back, and the glue is not as dark as it was on the crystal, but that's okay. That doesn't mean that it won't stick as well as the other. It's just different manufacturers generally have different glues on their stones, but this red is on fire. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. So here's our red. And now we'll do our black. And people tend to think that the black won't show on all colors like the black shirt. No, ma'am, that black is gorgeous on a black shirt. It does sparkle if the quality of the stones are good, which these so far have been. So let's take a look at this black and the black. Look at the bling on that black already. The black is gorgeous as well. So these are really good quality stones, very high quality. Okay, as you can see. And these are going to be a part of our bling design. So I'm excited to use all these gorgeous colors. As I stated, it's courtesy of Thread Nanny, who sent them to us on Amazon. So these are uh, prime uh, deals that you can purchase and we'll put them together so that you can see the colors all together. And as you see, here are our colors. Absolutely gorgeous. Now again, hot fix. These are hot fix stones. Hot fix stones have the glue on the back of the stone okay so the glue on the back is to be applied with heat so that can be a heat tool that can be a iron that can be a um, heat press either way these are applied with heat only so if you're wanting to put these on say for instance a coffee mug you would not use these stones with the coffee mug or with the tumbler or with shoes you want to use the flat back stones or what you want for using with glue and items these are for clothing so like your jeans your t-shirts your hoodies that's what these hot fix stones are for okay so let's go ahead and get set up so that we can bling our design with these gorgeous stones and get ready to press them to a shirt this is going to be a three color bling design. I'm gonna make it three colors because we have three colors to use from Thread Nanny. Um, what I'm going to do, although this is two, this is made to be a two color template, what I'm going to do is just be really careful where I'm applying my stones so that I can make this into a three color template. So my words here are going to be uh, the crystal and then I'm gonna make my shoes black and then I'm gonna make the inside of my shoes or the back underside of my shoes red, okay? So what you would need to do 
uh, or what you need to have on hand in order to bling a template is of course you need to have your stones possibly a pair of tweezers handy and all of these supplies will be linked below um, a bling brush so this is a bigger bling brush um, so here is the template again that we're going to use today and this is high heel shoes this is the bottom side of the shoes and then our words now although this is made in two parts this template is made to be a two color template so all of this would be one color and this would be a different color um, and then after we stone these we would layer them um, separately so that you can line them up however i'm going to make this a three color template by being very careful where i put my stone so my shoes are going to be black my words are going to be crystal and the bottom side of the shoes will be red now i have my stones here off to the side and i did go ahead and put the black and the crystal in a container so this container fits 10 gross of stones and these are little containers that i got from walmart actually so it's a uh, a packet of 12 containers um that you can get from walmart and they fit uh, the 10 gross of stones and not even fill all the way up. So this is a good buy um, if you're going to purchase 10 gross of stones. It's plenty enough room for uh, that amount of stone. So let's go ahead and put our red in the container. All righty. It just makes it easier for us to apply it when we're ready and of course they have the lids that go on top so what you need to get started blinging is you'll need bling brush so here's one bling brush it's not my favorite to use but this is one type that you can use and these are available at lowe's okay so you can go to lowe's and purchase these in the paint department um this is my favorite to use mainly because it's a little bit wider and it has a larger surface for especially the larger templates but i love this any with any of my templates i don't care how big or small and this can be found at walmart in the paint department or that's where i got mine from walmart um, and this is a paint pad but you can use this to bling with also you'll need some type of scoop to pick up your stones whenever you're done blinging to get the extra and i just use this handy food scoop and this was at uh, Dollar Tree I got this from Dollar Tree it's really cool because once you brush the stones over onto here you flip it up it goes down in this channel and then it's easier to pour directly into the container and you'll see that in action as we bling optional accessories would be a pair of tweezers uh, which I got these from off of Amazon and I'll leave a link for those below and we also need some type of tool possibly to pick up our stones um, a bling pin so this one takes wax on the tip of it it's hard to see the wax down in there um, i rarely use a wax pickup pin um, but sometimes the templates you work on can be a little tricky so an extra hand getting those unruly stones in place won't hurt the other thing you will need is tape okay so you will need your rhinestone tape to pick up the uh stones with there's acrylic and then there is silicone tape um thread nanny does offer acrylic tape as well uh, very affordably and that link will be below as well so you have different options of things that you could use and then things that you will absolutely need so i'm going to grab my bling brush and my stones are right here and let's go ahead and get started so as i mentioned my shoes are going to be black so i'm going to start with actually my words and the reason being is because once these are in i don't have to worry about uh the black getting into the words and uh, can work on that a lot easier so as you see i just poured the stones on and all i'm doing is just brushing there's a light pressure that i'm using it's not super heavy not super hard you can see how it's moving the bristles 
that's the type pressure I'm using. It's not really hard where I'm forcing the stones down in because as you brush, the stones will naturally go into the holes on their own. They're going to take the path of least resistance and they're going to go into their respective spots. Now, as you see, some of the stones are upside down and the stones that are upside down, uh, we don't have to worry about those. All right. Not sure what happened and why the video got skipped ahead on me, but we finished the word sassy. So let's go ahead and do the other part, which is up here the words classy and the ampersand now i'm going to turn this around to make it easier for it to stay within the camera and to show you earlier what i meant about the scoop i have these extra stones right here off to the edge of my um table so what i'm going to do is scoop these up slide this right up under my mat and slide these off into the scoop okay so as you see they're here and when i turn it up they fall down into that channel so now they're in there up against my hand and i can just pour them directly back onto the mat or i could have poured them back into the container so i'm going to put more down here And now we're going to, again, brush this into these letters. And hopefully we won't have any more camera malfunctions to where you won't be able to see it. And again, these extra stones that are up inside the shoe where they're not supposed to be, I'm not worried about that right now. We're going to fix that later. And I will say that this can be quite therapeutic <laughs> for those who um, like to craft. It's a Pretty simple craft to do. Now I just take this brush and use the side of it to kind of brush the extra off, okay? Off the top, because what happens is there are times where the stones will hide in the design. Like for instance, um, there will be extra stones like how this one is laid on top of that, where I just placed it. And it would be kind of hard to see it. However, if I just use my finger or the side of the brush, it'll brush it out. Okay. And let you see that there's extra. So once I get most of the stones in place, I'll come through and brush with my finger to make sure there are no extra stones laid somewhere they're not supposed to be. I'm going to check the amper stand as well. Oh, there was an extra stone. I felt it. Yep, there he is. So let's get him out of the way. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and put him in this spot right there. All right. So now what I go, what I do is go back and fill in the spots where the stones are supposed to be. Okay, so grab my tweezers and we're gonna pick you out of here and put you in that spot. And then I go through and take all these stones out that don't belong. Uh-oh. And while you're brushing and putting your stones in place, see how Sassy is already done? Well, you can't see now. Hold on. Sassy is already done up at the top. So do not bump the table. Do not bump your template because the stones will come out of place and you will be upset because you've done all of this work brushing these stones in and then you have to do them all over again. So um, you don't want to bump the table or the template. So I'm just using the tweezers to get these out of place. And these stones are gorgeous. They are reflecting the light like crazy. So really pretty. Okay. 
okay and there we have our words are done so i'm going to slide this up carefully grab these extra stones off of this template and i use my hand or you could use your brush to gather the extra and put it back into the container I'm done with the crystal just that quickly okay so I'm gonna put the lid on this and set it off to the side and now that we're done with the crystal I'm gonna go ahead and do the black of the shoe so I'm gonna pour this on And the exact same thing I did with the words, I'm going to do with the shoe. Just brush in a light, light circular motion. And as long as you're really careful and not brushing super hard, just brush lightly, then you shouldn't just disturb the crystals up top okay whoops there's a stone of a different color right there let's pull that out and put it to the side and put black in its place i've had customers and friends and family alike to come and bling or help me bling just because of how soothing it is to sit there and brush the stones in place and of course it's not for everyone um i've had a couple of bling parties where folks just weren't into blinging but there was only out of five six parties i've only had that happen one time where the customer just really wasn't feeling blinging everybody else was but she wasn't so and that's okay because it was a party of 10 i'm sorry 15 and out of the 15 that was there was only two and they were sisters that just didn't feel the bling vibe so that's okay but for everyone else blinging can be quite comforting and therapeutic so Give it a shot whenever you get an opportunity. Alrighty, so I'm brushing again, brushing my fingers over the top just to be sure that we don't have any loose stones. I'm gonna get the diamond or crystal colored out of there because our shoes are going to be black. Now I will say this, the other thing I do like about blinging is you have creative flexibility to do what you want. Just because I'm doing a black shoe doesn't mean your shoe has to be black. Your shoe can be red. You can do one red shoe, one blue shoe. <laughs> you can do uh, the front of the shoe right here in a different color if that's what you want. There is no rhyme or reason, right way or wrong way. It's entirely up to uh the person who wants the shirt how the colors represent on the design okay so i very easily could have done my wording in you know this up here crystal that down there in red however it's entirely up to you and that's one of the cool things i do like about the bling party with the bling party i let the uh, party growers know that it's up to them how they want to do and as you see these are flipping as i'm touching them <clears throat> with the tweezers a certain way excuse me okay so let me be careful these in place there we go now they're starting to cooperate like they're sticking to my tweezers too I need to clean and make sure my tweezers don't have anything on them no glue or something all right come on and there we have
have our shoe. Oh, that's supposed to be there. So we're missing one stone. And this one flipped over. So we're going to flip him back. And there we have our black shoes. Okay. So this part of the template is done. So what we're going to do for the time being is slide that forward very carefully. And now I'm going to clean up the black stones. Okay. And the same thing I did with the crystal, I'm going to do with the black. Brush them off into the scoop. Pick my scoop up. Tilt it up. And then pour it into the container. And so now my black stones are in place. And put a lid on it because it doesn't take much for the table to get bumped and then stones to go flying everywhere. All right, so now that we have this, I'm going to keep that up there and move this into place. Normally, I would go ahead and put the plastic over the top of that because anything can happen to bump this table or whatever and all, the, all that hard work done goes everywhere. So usually I'll go ahead and cover that, but I'm in here by myself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work on both of them and then we'll tape both of them at the same time. So here are the bottoms of those shoes. So I wanted those in red. And Okay. Well, a little bit more. All right, brush that off to the side. Push this off to that side and now look for the stray stones so again I run my finger and sometimes as you run your finger you may knock a stone out of place that was in its right place that's okay as well it just doesn't take much to go ahead and just grab it and put it back in place so I'm not sure why this thing is so sticky today the tweezers no if something is on them or not. Okay. And that is that for this template. So now the bottom of our shoes is done. So let me go ahead and clean this up. And that this part is really important. Um, a lot of people don't understand why it's important to go ahead and clean up the stones when you're done. And I'll show you why here in a moment. So there's our red. Tilt it up and pour it in. And there, our red is done. So let's go ahead and cap this. Now the trickiest part to this entire thing is putting the tape on the template, okay? Now I'm gonna move that up out of the way and bring this back down. Now this part is the trickiest, right? The reason why is because you're, you're dealing with sticky tape, okay? And the sticky tape is not forgiving. Once it's down, it's down. It's not permanent but your stones are going to be permanently stuck to it. Okay, so you have to be, not permanently stuck to it, but once the stones stick to it, it's hard to get these things off without having to scrape the entire design. Okay, that's what I mean. So I'll show you here in a moment. I went ahead and laid it over the top to measure. I'll double check and make sure this is wider, just slightly wider than the design and as long as the design and it is. And so now what I'm going to do is peel this apart.
And as you can see, it ain't wanting to cooperate. Probably because I'm on camera. Okay. Pulling it off at an angle helps. And what I generally do is I take my tape and bend it in like a U shape. Not fold it completely, but put it like a letter U almost. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll show it a little bit better afterwards. And then I start in the middle and apply it down on the template from the middle. Okay, so let me see if I can't get more of a view on here of this process. All right, now, so I have it in the U shape so that the middle goes down first, and then I set it down and lay the rest out in one fluid motion, try to anyway. Now, the reason why that's important is, as you see, I got mine off a little bit. So there's some stones that came out of the template where they weren't supposed to. And I'm right here at the edge with this tape because I'm trying to do this on camera. Um, and that's not a good idea when you're putting these together. So what I just did was I reached on the back side of this tape and grabbed those extra stones. And the light is reflecting off of it. So it's gonna be hard to see. But see how those stones came out? So all I did was lift this up and I'm going to grab these two stones. And all I'm going to do is go back and lay these in place. Okay, so put pick the stone up and put them back in the two spots that they belonged in. And sometimes you forget, so I lay it back down to double check. All right, and now that's back where it's supposed to be and these two stones I need to put back. And now it's all in place. And I just rub my hand, put firm pressure and rub my hand over the top to make sure that this tape is touching the surface of all of the stones. And the reason why is because when we pick this up, we want all of the stones to stick to the back of this tape and pick up all of the stones. Now, if you go to pick this up and there's a stone or two, then just lay it right back down, rub the area where the one stone didn't stick and then pick it up again. And you may have to keep doing that in order to get all of the stones, but fortunately, this time it came up nice and clean. So as you see, this is our template that we're going to lay on the front of the shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. And now we're going to bring our back bottom of our shoes back into the focus. And now what I'm going to do is I have a scrap piece of um, hot fix tape that I've used with um, another design and I'm going to cut this. I tend to reuse and recycle. And I'll show you how that works. So again, we have our tape. We're going to peel this apart. Make sure that it fits, do a U shape, and go down from the center out. And again, sometimes it may move. But if it moves, just rub your finger and then use your nail to kind of like slide it back into the circle that it's supposed to fit in. And there we have our second part to our template. Let me pick it up and here are our shoes. So what I'm going to do now is grab the shirt that these are going on. So what we're going to do is take our first part of our template 
and we're going to lay it out on the shirt okay and i generally eyeball mine however if you wanted to you could fold the shirt which this shirt was folded so you can kind of see the center crease a little bit here hopefully you can see it um but there's the center here um and then usually this is what i use as the focal point is right here below the armpits below the armpits is right at the chest and that's where you want your design to be centered is at the chest so this is a tall design so we want to make sure the center of this design is right around the chest okay and we're going to center it with this word sassy because see as you see the classy is off set just a smidge so uh, we're going to make sure our shoes are in the center and make sure that our design is straight and we'll press this to the shirt now it may not look like it's going to stand out much now okay because it's on the plastic it's on the shirt and it kind of looks like yeah yeah it might be okay but once we press it you'll really see this design shine through okay now i'll press this first layer as i mentioned at 350 for 12 seconds then i'll come behind take this plastic off and then lay this down and press this the rest 350 12 seconds I, that's the way i do my shirts have yet to have a shirt mess up wash dry and all of my stones are still in place now whenever you do these shirts i do not recommend hot water or hot dryer although my husband does the laundry and he does hot water hot dryer and it hasn't had a stone come off yet but in this instance with your customers i would tell them cold water wash lay flat to dry okay so let me go in here and press this to the shirt and we'll come back and add our back and bottom to our shoes and press that too all right so here we go let's peel this off and you will see our design is complete we have our shoes we have our classy and sassy and then we have our red bottoms on our black pumps so the stones are absolutely gorgeous and as you see it wasn't difficult to brush this in and get this design done and it's very apparent on the black shirt that those black stones are there so even on a black shirt black stones are gorgeous and these stones from thread nanny turned out to be absolutely stunning on this shirt so i want to thank you all for joining me today and getting this shirt done and thank you again to thread nanny for the awesome stones as you can see they glisten glisten and gleam gorgeously so if you are interested in getting some stones and you're an amazon prime member well yes you do have access to some fabulous stones on amazon um, and the link will be in the description below so thank you again for joining me for this rhinestone shirt tutorial and i look forward to seeing you in the next video